started on part 12 of my spring fling garden. Stitch marker in your yarn and make sure to push the tail to the back of your work before getting started on the next section. Getting started on round 63, we are going to be starting in the chain one space in any of our corner peaks. There's eight of them. And we're going to start with a small puff V stitch. So working a small puff chain one and then a small puff in the same chain space. We're going to skip one half double crochet, so the beginning half double crochet, we're going to skip that one. And then we're going to work a small puff V stitch in our next half double crochet. So in that one right there, we're working a small puff V stitch, so working a small puff. Chain one, and then small puff in that same stitch. Now we have a repeat that we need to do a total of 16 times, which is to skip two half double crochets. One, two, working in that third half double crochet, a small puff V stitch. So small puff, chain one, and then small puff in that same half double crochet. So that's the little repeat. You need to do a total of 16 times. Skip two, working in the third, a small puff V stitch. Small puff, chain one, and then small puff in that same stitch. So I've done that twice. Need to do it 14 more times for a total of 16, and it'll bring you back to where you started, and I'll meet you there. I just finished my 16th repeat. We can skip the next half double crochet and that brings us back to where we started. You can repeat that around seven more times, joining with a slip stitch to your beginning small puff. Getting started on round 64, we have the small puff V stitch in that corner chain one space. We're going to get started on the repeat for the round, which is to work a pop in that chain one space. A pop is five double crochets, so I'm going to be working a standing double crochet for my first one. And it's five double crochets, so I need four more. So we've got a total of two, three, four, and then five. Draw up a little loop, remove your hook, insert it into, the, into that beginning. Double crochet. I'm just trying to see it here, being a standing. It's a little difficult, there we are. So that's the pop. We're going to now work a repeat, a total of 17 times, which is to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to work a small pop in the next small puff V stitch. So a small pop is three double crochets. There's one double crochet, two, 
and then three. Draw up a little loop, remove your hook, insert it into that beginning double crochet, back into your working loop, tighten, and draw up a loop. So that's the little repeat we need to do a total of 17 times. I'll show you again, chain three, one, two, three, small pop in that next small puff V stitch. So three double crochets, there's two, and then three, draw up your loop, insert it into the beginning double crochet, back into your working loop, tighten, draw up a loop. So I've done that twice, do it a total of 17 times, and I'll meet you when you're done. I just finished my last repeat, and now we need to chain three, one, two, three, and that brings us back to where we started in that corner small puff V stitch. So that's the repeat for the round. You can do that a total of seven times, joining with a slip stitch to your beginning pop. Getting started on round 65, you're gonna have this master color here at the back of your work. You'll have work in front of it. I'm only working up a sample here. And so we're gonna start using that master color again. And we're going to start with a, I'm trying to get the white. There we are, with a chain four. One, two, three, four. That's not going to count as a stitch. And we can get started on the repeat for the round, which is to work a front post single crochet in our pop. So working a front post, you should be inserting it in that chain three, both the chain threes, before and after. I don't have mine there. And then we have a little repeat that we need to do a total of 17 times, which is to single crochet in the next chain three space. So there's our single crochet. Now we're going to double crochet in the space between the small puffs from round 63. So round 63 is that green round. We're working a double crochet between those two small puffs. So there's our double crochet. And then we're going to work a front post single crochet in the next small pop. So our small pop working a front post single crochet. So that's the little repeat. I've done it once. I'll show you again. Single crochet in the chain three space. Double crochet between those puffs in round 63. front post single crochet in the next small pop. So we've done that twice. I'll do that a total of 17 times and I will meet you when you're done. I'm just finishing up my last repeat with a front post single crochet in that last small pop. Next we're going to work a single crochet in the chain three space and then double crochet between those puffs from round 63. That brings us back to where we started to that pop in our corner there. So you can repeat that around seven more times joining with a slip stitch to your beginning single crochet. That brings us to the end of this section. For more crochet patterns, tutorials, and yarn shop, please visit my blog, dearestdebbie.com.